In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to create a comped vocal using three vocal takes from the same section of a song. Look at the Cubase project. You'll see we have three different tracks, each of which contains a different vocal take of the same section from the song. Let's listen to each one in turn using the track solo function. Here's take one. Although I've come a long way, I can't forget that day. Traveling on with my life, my way, my way. Here's take number two. Although I've come a long way, <clears throat> I can't forget that day. Traveling on with my life, my way, my way. And finally, take number three. Although I've come a long way, I can't forget that day. Traveling on with my life, my way, my way. The first thing you'll notice is that I've already used the scissors tool to actually cut each individual take up into the various sections of the song. I've deliberately turned the snap off so that I can actually place my cuts at very specific points at the end of phrases. You'll notice that the length of each phrase within each take is slightly different. This is due to the fact that the last word of each phrase is sometimes longer or shorter. Therefore you can see I've divided each of the vocal takes into five sections, each of which corresponds to a different section of the song lyrics. I can now use the event mute tool to select which sections of each take I'm going to use in my final comped vocal. I've decided to use take three for line one. I'm going to use take number one for line two. I'm going to use take number two for the third line, take number three for the fourth line, and take number two for the fifth line. If we now listen back to this rough cut comp vocal, we should hear all five lines of the song sung correctly with a good sense of pitch and rhythm. Although I've come a long way, I can't forget that day Traveling on with my life, my way, my way That's great. What we now need to do is to start to move all of these individual audio events into one track where we can actually glue them together and make sure that they fit nicely from one to another. If you use the modifier key of control or command on your computer keyboard, you'll only be able to drag the audio event in one axis, either vertically or horizontally. This ensures that the audio events are moved correctly from one track to another. Let's start with the first audio event and drag it down onto the final comped track. Do the same with the second audio event, hold down control or command and do the same. Now move to the third audio event, hold down the modifier key and drag, fourth one and finally the fifth one. We now have a single audio track containing all five comped sections of the vocal. Although I've come a long way, I can't forget that day, traveling on with my life, my way, my way. If we now expand the vertical height of the track, you can start to see that at certain points there's an overlap from one audio event to another. If we extend the horizontal view, you can see this in more detail. You can see these two audio events here overlap at this point with the gray line. We can now use the crossfade function to make a smooth transition from one audio event to another. Select the two audio events. They'll now have a red box around them. Now press X on the computer keyboard, insert a crossfade. If we want to zoom in a little bit more, we can see the crossfade in more detail. Do the same at the next point where two audio events overlap, select them, press X, and again, select them, press X, and finally select them and press X on the keyboard. Now we should have five audio events on a track with four smooth transitions between each join using crossfades. Although I've come a long way, I can't forget that day, traveling on with my life, my way. My way! If at any point you wish to change the type of crossfade that you're using, simply open the crossfade by double clicking on it, and this will open up the crossfade setup window. Here you can choose the two different types of curve to create your crossfade from. You may want a steep curve or you may want a more shallow curve. Once you've made your settings, simply close this window. 
Once you've assembled your finished comped vocal, it makes sense to create one new audio file which contains all of the individual elements from your comping. Select all the audio events and now set the left and right locators around these events by pressing P on the computer keyboard. Now go to the audio menu and choose bounce selection. When it asks you if about replacing events, click on replace events and you'll now see that we have one new final comped audio event on the final comped track. Final check is to open up the audio pool and have a look in the audio folder and see the final comped audio file within the audio pool. This is now saved on the hard drive. Finally, let's have a listen to the finished vocal. Although I've come a long way, I can't forget that day. Traveling on with my life, my way, my way. So that's comping, crossfades and bounce selection using audio events. A really useful tool for editing together perfect takes from several takes of an instrumental or vocal part.